Today I have not one, not two, but three gizmos or gadgets that have really nothing to do with RVs, van life, camping, that sort of stuff, or, or do they? You be the judge. What's the first one? Well, the first one is something you're looking at right now, right in plain sight, right here. What is it? It's a wireless microphone that can transmit my voice, your voice, sounds, whatever it is, up to 60 feet to the iPhone here that's capturing the video for this presentation. Comes in a little case like this, has charging cables to recharge the rechargeable batteries that it comes with. It can run for quite a long time, longer than a video I'm ever gonna do. But the little case offers the opportunity for something else. Remember I said charging? Unless I have a power source, I didn't happen to charge the batteries, I ran them down, they ran down on their own, whatever it might be, what am I going to do? I'm out in the field. That brings up item number two, something called pocket juice. I looked at this case, and I'm pretty good with sizes, and I said, you know, I think this thing will fit in here. And sure enough, there you go. Fits perfectly inside the little case. You close the little case up and you've got your mic, the transmitter, which uh, I'm gonna put a picture right here of the transmitter that plugs into the side of your phone. So you've got a mic that's transmitting to the receiver in the phone. The phone is connected via that lightning port and the voice and the picture are in sync. So there you have it. There's, um, there's two items. Now, uh, Pocket Juice, I'm going to put a link in the description and also a link to the particular set of mics and transmitter that I bought. Because what initially captured my attention was an ad on a YouTube video I was watching for this kind of a device. And it's flowery and, you know, sounds of nature and all kinds of things going on. And I go, wow, that's wireless. That's cool. That would help me. That would be great. You know, like for example, now I'm getting kind of hoarse, so I want to, I want to go get my cup of coffee, but it's, uh, it happens to be way over here where I was working earlier. And, uh, you know, you wouldn't hear me. I'd have to cut the video. It'd be kind of, uh, Difficult, but there you go. You heard me put down the coffee cup and uh, we didn't miss a beat. So that's what I like about this. It, I'm not tethered to the phone by virtue of a separate wire or that kind of thing. But remember I said something about, well, the price. Well, you know me. And that's kind of always a little bit of a stickling point, the price. Yeah. So I went and looked, and the price was like $149. I'm like, well, yeah. but And then so I went to Amazon and looked, and it's $99, and it's $89, and pretty soon it's $59. And then I found the ones I bought for under $30, shipped, free, one day, including tax. So I said, okay, sounds good to me. If they work, great. If they don't, I'll be visiting UPS to return them. That's item number one and two. So anybody doing videos, uh, wanting to do an interview, there's two of these mics, and they both transmit simultaneously to the camera software. So you can record both voices. You know, one can, you can be here, and somebody else can be across the room. Uh, they say they transmit as far as 60 feet. I haven't tested it out, but it, it'll be very easy to do because I have something I know measured as exactly 60 feet. So I can put the phone at one end and walk to the other end and see if, it, you know, see if it's still transmitting the way I need it to transmit. Uh, that's it for that. 
What's item number three? Well, again, we all have, I'm going to go get a sample. So give me a second here. I got to pull one out. All right, here we go. Out of the drawer. Probably, yeah, you know what it is. So these are Dollar Tree, which is now dollar and a quarter tree scissors. And uh, they're fine. They, they work. Uh, I use them around the kitchen a lot. Cut bags open. I might cut open an envelope or something from Amazon. In terms of sharpness, well, yeah, they're okay. They're sharp enough to cut. If I wanted to cut a piece of leather, for example, or if I wanted to do something like cut the felt in the for the window coverings I made for the Prius, well, yeah, these not that great. You're just inching along because the sweet spot of the scissors is probably about three quarters of an inch. And you know, if you've ever been in a fabric store, you go in and they get the shears and they cut the fabric and it's just almost amazing the way it cuts. Well, and you look down and you see these well-used, well-worn shears and you think, man, those are probably, and they're probably a lot of money. And uh, you'd be right because most of them have been, but that's until now. Once again, YouTube watching some other video about some other thing altogether and I get an ad for these scissors and I'm, I look and I think, well, yeah, I could use a good pair of scissors, leather, canvas. I'm planning to make some canvas bags they, that had come in nice and handy for those because I've got the roller cutters. I've got, but I got to lay out a big area to use that thing. Uh, I've got these, not very good. I could use a razor knife. Ideally, a good pair of shears it would be what I, what I would use. That would be my tool of choice, but I don't have a good pair of shears because again, eh, the price. Mm. So the ad comes on and I see these scissors and I say, oh shoot, I better go take a look. So I look and they say, well, they're $44.95. And I said, well, that's, you're pretty close to getting me. And they said, but we've got a coupon and that will lower the price to whatever half of $44.95 is, 50% off. And I'm like, well, yeah, now we're talking 50% off. Okay, well, I'm going to go take a look on Amazon. So I go to Amazon and of course, I mean, I could have gone lower, but the particular package I, I got is the scissors I want and a little accessory item that's going to be proved to be handy and useful too. Uh, what was the cost? Well, here's, here are the ones I bought. So there's the link. If you want to get them, there they are. And here they are in the flesh. Well, not really, but on the video. These are 10 inch shears, right? So compared to these, right? Okay, here's, hi, here I am. And uh, yeah, well, uh, I think I've got you out out gapped here, son. And it's true. The bottom line is, yeah, all that's great, but do they cut? Oh yeah, they cut. So let me get some material and I'll show you how they cut. Okay, so here, I got a little thing of leather scraps. So let's pull out a piece of leather. Oh great, here's a piece of leather. And this isn't very thick. This is probably two ounce, three ounce leather, something like that. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll cut this off. There it is, cut off. And now I'll take this piece of leather and double it, get four layers of leather. So four layers, and there you go. Overall, very simple. Am I ever going to cut four layers of leather at one time? Not with scissors. I can't imagine having a, a use for something like that. I don't make saddles or... Uh, alpine hiking boots or anything like that. Well, for the stuff I want to do, it's got to be able to cut a scribed line and be able to do that precisely with no ragged edge or anything because I have to burnish this and polish it and seal it up. There you go on that. Now, here's some stuff I use a lot of times. People might use speaker cloth. 
to make speaker enclosures or cut little things like this to to dampen sound on car bodies or that kind of thing. This is just cheap carpet I get at Home Depot. And it's got lines in it, so it's handy. And here I'm going to show you the end here. Most of the time, this is where scissors fall apart. The end uh, lets you down. It doesn't cut cleanly. So here we go. And the material is dimensionally perfect. So that's very accurate. So there you go. There are these. The link is, of course, in the description. Here's a picture of the Amazon page. What was that little thing they come with? Well, two things, actually. They come with a wrench so that this nut right here can be unloosened, the scissors separated, and a professional, or if you're capable or want to try attempt doing it, you can sharpen these. These are, are professional grade in that sense that they're made to be serviced. They're not made to just use and then when they get dull, throw them away. They're made out of high carbon steel, uh, Japanese and German is what they say. And these steels are formed, forged probably, I would think, in China. And then the edges and so forth are machined, sharpened, honed to a, what I would call, close to razor sharpness. I don't want to get anywhere near these things open with skin. That's, I, I don't want to have any skin in that game. So, uh, the shears, the wrench, that's important to be able to take the scissors apart, sharpen them. But that's not the... That's not the thing. It's not a big thing. It came with it. And it's like, here, we're going to throw this in. And it's like, thank you. I appreciate that. Like a little gift. What is it? It's a tape measure. So I can measure my head for a hat. I can measure my waist for a pair of pants. Uh, anything with my sleeve length. Anything where it's kind of a ruler, a, a normal construction tape measure, re retractable metal ruler. Any of that stuff doesn't work. This is a tailor's tape measure. This is what you need. And then the price, well, yeah, that capped the deal. There you have it. There are the three kind of disjointed things that hopefully you'll find very useful at a very reasonable cost. There you go. That's all I've got in this video. So if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you think it might help somebody else, please uh, share it with them. If you'd like to get more content like this, then subscribe and ring the bell and you'll be notified when the content gets posted. As always, comment as you see fit. Till the next video, see you later.